Divine Truth Assistance Group. This group assistance sessions are about putting principles of divine truth into action. This discussion is part of the Texas USA 2013 series, and it is a question and answer session with Rachel, Mary's guide, and audience. Presented by Rachel, Mary, and Jesus on the 15th of November 2013 in Austin, Texas, USA. This is session 7. As always with mediumship, this is not a simple process of delivering a message as clearly as we would wish. <laughs> there is always the medium to contend with. But we love our sister and we thank her for this gift of service. So if we may continue. We wish to expound more on this issue of desire. Many of you fear desire. You fear becoming sensitive to how it is you are expressing your will. And it is this point which we wish to make very clearly. If you are to change in this coming year, as we, so, we were so interested to uh, partake in this discussion last evening when many of you were discussing where would we be in a year, how will we have changed in a year. If you are to change and grow in this coming year, to grow in love and to grow your joy, it will be necessary for you initially to simply become sensitive to the issue of desire within your lives. Many of you are, sh are ashamed of your current desires and this makes you wish to stifle them. Others of you simply fear the experience of any desire because you fear how others in your life will react to these things. You fear being called selfish, being accused of not being loving. And so these of you, those of you who have these injuries simply squash your desires almost completely. Or if you are to take an action or make a decision to use this beautiful gift of your will, you are always first analysing how will others perceive this before you act. In doing this, you are not fully experiencing the strength of your desire, the power of your will. And this is the lesson with which we wish to impart to you, that it is important to become sensitive to your desires and how you wish to use your will, even if initially you wish to use your will in a direction which you can now see is not loving. We are saying to you that it is important that you get in connection with these, these desires within you, to really feel them as emotions and to feel the strength of how much you wish to do these things, the strength of your will used in the direction that it is currently used in. This is very important because it will help you connect to the emotions surrounding the decisions that you are making, the way in which you are using your will. will become, the reasons why you are using your will in this way will become very clear when you are able to connect to the feeling of how much you want certain things. Then temptation for many of you is to leave and to decide, I am now going to want different things. I will want the loving things and the humble things and I will do the good things and the best things and I will simply change my will. But as we so often uh, share with this brother and sister who are in front of you, this is not merely a simple decision. You must first connect to the emotions which drive your decisions and your will and fully experience those things. So rather, to, rather than to squash your will, to squash the feelings that drive your decisions and your desires, it is to very firstly connect to these things properly. 
many of you are accustomed to living your life in routine, very desensitized from these decisions which we are referring to so constantly. It has become automatic, a pattern, a thing that you do without much feeling. And if you are to commence this, this period of growth over the next year, for which we see much potential, by the way, in, in almost every one of you, if you are to engage this process, then we encourage you first to become more sensitive to your own lives, to your own desires, and to the things that you wish to hold on to rather than let go. Because it is true in this process, you will need to let go of many things. Many things that you currently believe are loving, many things that you wish to hold on to the belief that they are true and good and that you should base your life on. As you engage this process of humility and longing for truth and love from our Heavenly Father, you will begin to find that many of these things that you wish to hold on to are perhaps not as good or wise or solid as you thought. But first you must understand that you do want them. These are things which you wish to hold on to and to let yourself feel how much you want to hold on to these things. For this is essential if you are to understand why they are present in your life. So this is perhaps the first part of our message that we wish to convey around the issue of desire and the things that you currently treasure. Be willing to feel these things as they currently are. To take a snapshot, if you like, of your life and who you are and what you want right now today. What are the things that have brought you to today? The emotions and the decisions and the reasons why you took these decisions, which are all emotional. Let yourself Know yourself as you are right now, today. Begin this process of discovery of who you are, of what you have created through your will up until this point in your life. This is such a powerful exercise. And in fact, for many of it, you, it may take some months or even the year that which, before we meet again. To simply come to know yourself as you really are, it, the injuries, the emotions, even some of the passions hiding underneath your fears. But to know yourself emotionally as you are, this is the crucial first step if you are to change through humility. Within many of you, there is the temptation to judge who you have become who you are right now in this moment. But judgment does nothing but slow this progression. And judgment is in fact the choice to avoid feeling who you are and how you are right now. Judgment is the choice to distance yourself from what is already inside of you right now. The pains, the desires, the lust, the greed, the shame, the fear, for some of you, the terror. Yet these are the things that make up you who you are today. And God is not judging those things. In fact, God has this infinite compassion for who you are right now and is always and ever hopeful, as far as we experience him, of the capacity for everyone to change. So even though you may be tempted over the coming months to judge what you discover inside of yourself, each time that you do, recognize that that is just a choice to get away from how you really feel and it will only slow your progression. 
let yourself be imperfect. Let yourself acknowledge the things inside of you that are not in harmony with love or truth. And simply recognize that these things which have been driving your will up until now will need to be felt fully and released if you are to change your desires. There is no quick fix. There is no simple changing course on the GPS as many of you uh, so luxuriously do now. If you miss the turn off, something recalculates for you. <laughs> in this journey, it is necessary to stop in the point where we miss the turn off and to feel why, to feel what happened, to really experience ourselves without judgment and to ask for God's assistance in this journey. And this is perhaps the second major thing that we would like to speak to you about today. And that is not to neglect this precious relationship that you now know is available to you. To connect with God. This has been the most changing and fulfilling relationship in our lives. And indeed we do not, we cannot conceive how, how beautiful life can become, even in our state of imperfection, if we engage God in this process. God's will and God's desire and intent is to assist us in each one of these steps. And God is very aware of how precious and important each step is. So while you may feel that you are very, very far from the place that you would dream yourself to be, do not neglect each step that you take with God because each step is another opportunity for God to show you her love, for you to open your heart and let her love enter to change you and to grow this relationship that we see that most of you desire so deeply. So while you are becoming aware of yourselves as you truly are right now, ask God to help you see even more clearly. And ask for God's love in the knowledge that this love will assist you to change and to grow. We would like now to invite any questions and perhaps we would ask Jesus first if he would like to ask any questions. <laughs>